All right, what's going on today, guys? Um, so today I'm going to be once again redoing my tail lights. So basically, I will show how to build a set of uh, retrofit tail lights, and this is going to be um, not oddly specific because obviously every car's tail lights are different. So luckily for me, I already have a set that have been built. So the tools that I use are basically just going to be for wiring and uh, not everybody's tail lights are going to be the same. So mine's already taken apart. <clears throat> and so this won't be exactly the same as everybody's, but I'll basically show you how to wire them up and set up the, the controls and everything like that. So um, as you can see, my tail light kind of just comes apart with some screws and stuff like that. And then we have some, um, some see-through like white plastic. And that's basically what is using to cover the light. So it's not just straight up LEDs, but you could do that if you wanted to. Um, so that's, that's how my tail light looks, but mostly we're just going to be talking about the wiring and how to set it up. And the reason why I'm doing this is because, as you can see, these uh, these connections are not are not great. Um, obviously, these are are curved, and so the reason why they were broken up and resoldered was to get that that curve. But I actually am doing it a different way this time, and uh, I'm just going to be eliminating about 90% of the connections. So, if you're really good at soldering. Um, you can do this. You always uh, could run into the issue of not making a good connection or something uh, might end up bugging out like mine did. So I've, I've tried to repair these connections like three or four times. So I'm just to the point now where I'm like, I'm, I'm just going to redo them completely. So I want to walk you guys through doing that. So um, I've already gotten it started and I'll link all this stuff down below for you guys. I have what is a uh, five volt or 12 volt to five volt um, converter here. And this is so that I can test my lights out um, on the fly. And I'm sorry guys about the mess. I don't have a garage, so I just am kind of working around uh, the apartment. So then our controller is going to be the um, Blue Ghost light controller. And I'll, like I said, I'll, I'll link all this stuff down below. And um, it comes with a little adapter where you can plug your um, controller into and it will power it up. And then I'll have to show you guys how the app works. But this is what we're working with right here. Um, I've already gotten started on my, um, on my pieces here and it looks kind of funny, but it'll make sense after a bit. Um, basically, first thing you wanna do is uh, get your your strand that you're starting with your LEDs and we're going to turn them on make sure they all work So I'm going to do that real quick All right, so we're going to go into the blue ghost app here And if you have your box hooked up, you're going to be able to connect to it and it's going to say pair So here we have the slide where we have all of our light shows um, but before that, we want to go over here to the um, configure tab. And when you're first setting up, you're going to want to just hit the plus, And you can see where I'm tapping the plus and minus. That's going to be how many LED pixels you have. Um, and then right below that is the direction. You can change the direction of your turn signals and how the light flows. So once you get the correct amount of pixels, you can um, set it up and get your right direction. And here we have the, um, the show tab and you can see all of the different light shows that we have. So you can again hit the plus button and just pretty much make any kind of show that you want. And right now what I'm doing is a light show or a slideshow and you can select a number of different types of shows for your tail lights, and you can make them all happen at once. Now that you guys know kind of how to um, set that up, so this is my LED strip, obviously, 
and the the plugs that come with the controller actually just plug right into your strip so all you have to do is run a power wire and a ground wire and that's going to be these first two first one's power second one's ground hook it into the positive and negative of your converter that will power up your box and then you'll be able to connect to it with the blue ghost app so um that's basically all you got to do and then whenever you get your your strip plugged in as you can see there's not it's not going all the way but that was that little tab i was just showing you so you create um your left and right which will be left or right if you're doing those but if you just have this one you'll create that and then you'll keep um, adding on until it fills up your LED strip. And that's how you start it and set it all up. So I'm already about halfway through the process on my light. Um, it's kind of hard to tell, but this, this piece here, so you can tell what it's gonna look like behind the um, plastic, that little piece goes right there and then the other three curves go this way. So um, you can actually change the direction. You can see how it's flowing this way. I've got it set to where um, it starts on the end. My turn signal goes out this way. But um, the beauty of this is you can literally arrange the LEDs however you want. So um, in my case, I'm already going off of a design, but um, it's really simple. You just have to you know, figure out your layout. And your biggest thing is that you wanna make sure that you keep, I don't know if you can see, yeah, you see those arrows right here on the outside. You just wanna make sure that you keep all your LEDs going that same direction. That way your white, um, green and red wires are all matching up the same for each strip. So uh, that is basically how you're gonna do it and once you figure out your layout, um, you can start start uh, soldering them up. And like I said, I'm gonna be eliminating a lot of connections. I'll show you guys the comparison uh, once I'm done with it. So I'm gonna continue on and uh, just show you guys the progress. All right, guys, we're getting close to the end. I've got this one to make a connection on. <laughs> Um, and then there's one more, but I want to make sure that this one's good before um, I put it actually or like fasten it to the tail light. So I'm going to show you guys how I'm soldering this. So this stuff right here is your, I'm, I don't even know what they call it. It's like grease, but it's uh, basically just to keep your tip clean. So you want to make sure that you got to a clean tip and this is basically all we're going to be doing here is getting a little bit of solder on to the end of the connection and you just got to be patient just want a little bit and uh if you heat it up for too long it can there's a a risk of it messing up your led strip so like I said, just take your time. Try not to hold it on there for too long. Sometimes it's a little finicky. If it's not really clean, it won't um, it won't stick very easily. But you want to do this that way. When you go to attach your your wire, um, you have something. Uh, kind of like a stepping stone for something to stick to it. There we go. All right. Now I'm just putting on this little guy to make sure I'm going to plug it in and make sure that everything's working up to this point. And I've already got, I don't know if you can see it, I've already got some solder on these ends as well. So that should make it for an easy, an easy attached point.
Okay, now we have that connection. I'm gonna plug it into the box and uh, test it out. All right, as you guys can see, we've got all of them functioning so far. So what I'm gonna do is just undo this connection and um, attach it to my last piece here with um, just some straight wires, just like how this connection is. So then that one will be uh, the last piece and that one will have to have a um, an actual plug on the end of it. So we get to doing that. Now that you guys know how I've soldered it and um, this is just, like I said, testing it out before I finalize everything inside of the uh, light. Another good hack is that once the, uh, once you make sure your connection's good, get you a piece of uh, heat shrink. That way your um, actual connections are at least tight and even if the wires do get moved around, it will hold them a little bit. All right, and there we have it so far. So looking pretty good if you ask me. Um, what I did was took my most recent connection that I made there and I just uh, stripped it and you can plug it right in to the terminals there and that will get you a good test spot. So time for the, the last connection and we should be good. So here I'm just doing one final test before I um, put it all back together. It looks like everything's working well. So um, there's how we do it. I'm gonna go ahead and seal up the tail light and uh, I'll show you guys once more when I get everything uh, put back inside the case. Just wanted to do one more test before I put everything back in. So obviously these are insanely clean, you know, by any means. I'm an amateur uh, wiring person, if you want to call it that. But I just wanted to show you guys a comparison of all of these different connections and all of these compared to the amount that I did. See all those, so many opportunities for failure. We've got one, two, three, four, five, oh wait, six, seven, eight. So there's probably eight in this one alone. So just wanted to show you guys that before I put them back in. Got her all put back together and in the car. So I just wanted to give you guys a nice little preview. Been in for about a week now and everything's been working just fine. So pretty stoked, obviously at the car wash. Got her cleaned up. Sneak peek of what's to come in probably the next video. New look on the car. But yeah, there we have it.
guys have it. Um, we are now hopefully not going to have any more issues <laughs> with the taillights. Um, hopefully that wasn't too uh, out of whack for you guys. I know it's kind of hard to follow sometimes and I'm kind of an amateur when it comes to doing that stuff. But I tried to explain it as simply as I could and I explained it in the way that I understood it and I figured it out so I'm sure if you guys do some more research if my video doesn't particularly uh, get across for you then I'm sure you can figure it out um, yeah hopefully you guys got that and um, and hopefully you get a good set made for yourself if that's what you're going for um, so yeah appreciate you guys watching be on the lookout for the um, finished product of the wrap the black is not here to stay by itself i'm adding something on top of it um if you follow my instagram you've seen it already um what it, like how it is what i just showed you um most people probably guess what i'm doing but uh if not just stay tuned it's gonna be pretty cool and uh yeah i hope you guys have a good one and thanks again for watching